In SPSS, we usually work from the data editor window and the output viewer window. In the previous video, we showed you the main elements of the data editor window, in this video let's have a quick look at the output viewer window. Right, let's now download the data set of bank.save with download link in the description of this video, and open it in SPSS. We'll use it for walking you in this video. Right. So with our data open, let's create some outputs by running the descriptive analysis. Running this analysis opens an output viewer window as shown here. As illustrated, the SPSS output viewer window always has two main panes, firstly, the output outline is mostly used for navigating through your output items, and secondly, the actual output items mostly tables and charts are often exported to Word or Excel for reporting. In the output outline, you can also delete output items, SPSS often produces way more output than you ask for. Use the control key to select multiple items, then press your delete button. Now let's turn to the actual output items. The most important ones are tables and charts, so we'll discuss those separately. We'll usually want to make some adjustments to our output tables. One option for doing so is right-clicking the table and selecting Edit. The Pivot Table Editor window allows us to adjust basically anything about our table. That being said, we recommend you only use the Pivot Table Editor, if everything else fails. One reason is that, you can't replicate and rerun whatever you do in the Pivot Table Editor. When you are inspecting the data, you want to see variable names and labels in your output. The same goes for values and value labels, because you want to know how your variables have been coded. One way for doing so is navigating to edit on the menu, then options, and selecting the output tab. Now, changes options to display names and labels, then running again the frequencies analysis. After doing so, all output tables will run will show variable name and value labels. First off, you can adjust basically anything about charts in the chart editor window. You can open one by right clicking a chart, then edit. This opens a chart editor window as shown here. As a rule of thumb, only use the chart editor if everything else fails. The reason is that, you can't replicate and rerun whatever you do in the chart editor. We finish here the video. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel, also, don't hesitate to leave your comments, these will inspire us to create more videos. See you soon in the next videos.